Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Smoothie Saturday with Dr. V. I'm going to make an awesome smoothie for you today. It's kind of it has a special secret ingredient: bee pollen. Don't tell anybody. We're going to use some bee pollen now. Why bee pollen? Bee pollen is the best thing if you're trying to fight allergies. You want to get rid of your allergies. Start putting in bee pollen uh, into your smoothies. Now I said bee pollen, not honey. I'm not talking about local honey, okay? So I'll show you that. So first of all, we're going to do smoothies. If you need more smoothie recipes, um, check out my smoothie book on Amazon. But first thing you're going to need is an emulsifying blender. So not just a regular blender, not a magic bullet. A magic bullet will make you salsa, not a smoothie. So this is a Nutra Ninja. This is a Nutra Ninja, uh, but a Nutra bullet's fine. Nutra Ninja. I mean, I got this thing for 75 bucks. And uh, it's lasted me for four years, and I use it almost every morning. So it's a it's the best appliance. Okay, so you can have a Nutri Ninja, Nutri Bullet, or if you got a lot of money, a Vitamix. A Vitamix will run you about you know six hundred dollars. Now you can use a regular blender, but the blender's gotta you gotta make sure the blender has like a smoothie function, so that way you don't end up with salsa. All right, so now you have an emulsifying blender. Now, what makes a smoothie green? It's not the color, although today's is gonna, is gonna stay green. What you're gonna get, the reason why it's called a green smoothie is because of the fact, why? You add a leafy green into it, okay? You have to have a leafy green. The leafy green is what makes it um, green, okay? I like to use spinach. Why spinach? Because it lasts, one tub of this will last me a week, and um, I usually get it for about $3 and it keeps so the leafy greens uh, some of them will will uh, go bad on you pretty fast but I find the baby spinach lasts for a long time okay lasts for a good week so you can use any leafy green you want though you can use like a power mix you can use kale you can use baby arugula and they all have different flavors the spinach I find you really can't taste the spinach there's really no taste to it and you're getting a ton of nutrients like iron that's like I mean, that's what Papa ate to be strong. I'm strong to the finish because I eat my spinach. All right, so what are you going to do? You're just going to reach down here. There we go. And you're going to put some spinach in here. Usually what I do is there's no way. You don't need to measure it. One, two, eh, usually three, something like that. No big deal. Depends on how much you want to make. And it also depends on where you are in your uh, weight loss journey so i get this question a lot it's like dr vong how much smoothie should i drink and the answer is it depends on where you are on your weight loss journey after if you just had weight loss surgery this you might not be able to drink this whole thing but go ahead and make some you can also make smaller portions and and um, make less but usually if you're a year out you'll be able to drink a full you know eight ounces to 16 ounces of green smoothie oh and the next thing remember the purpose of a green smoothie is to nourish your body not to make you feel full all right because a lot of people go some they'll say something like oh my god you know i have a green smoothie and i'm hungry again at 10 or 11. well well 11 is time for you to have lunch um, but you're, you're nourishing your body. There's no better way to get nutrients into your body like a green smoothie, all right? Especially if you've had weight loss surgery, so you really need this. Um, this will be also be great for your husband, your spouse, your kids. Start off their day with a great nutritious smoothie. Okay, so we have our leafy green in here. Now the next thing I'm gonna put is banana, okay? And you want like a really, you see how these are like older? yeah you want them to have brown spots now if you get a green banana it's not going to taste good if you get one a banana that's that's too young it, it won't be good if you are now pay attention now if you're trying to you to go lower carb because some people will be like that's too high carb it, my sugars will go crazy or they'll say like you know they're trying to be uh you know um ketogenic or something skip oh look at that look you see that brown spot on the banana that's okay look it can, it's okay. You won't taste it. Just pop it right in there. It's all right. So if you're trying to be lower carb, skip the banana. I get it. Skip the banana. Use half an avocado instead. 
So to take your smoothie from a high carb smoothie to a, to a lower carb smoothie, skip some of the sweeter fruits. So you're, um, you're gonna skip the banana. Today I'm gonna make a, like a tropical thing. So I'm gonna use mango, all right, and pineapple, but you can skip that if you want to, okay? If, you can use any fruit you want. If you're trying to be lower carb, um, use the berries. So use blueberries, those are lower carbs, and all of your stone fruits, um, the pitted fruits like cherries would be fantastic, nectarines would be fantastic, peaches would be fantastic if you're trying to be lower carb. I'm not trying to be lower carb today. I'll do a lower carb video later. So how much do you add on? This is the, the most awesome part of a green smoothie. There is no measuring, okay? I'm just gonna put however much I want. That's the mango. I got pineapple chunks. You can try all sorts of different things. You can try rhubarb, uh, cherry. Oh, if cherries are lower in carbs, so if you're trying to be lower carb, use cherries. See, there's no measuring of that. It's just gonna be whatever I want in there, okay? Got that? Now, you can use any combination. Check this out, my last smoothie uh, video, this is actually coconut flakes. So if I wanted a coconut flavor, eh, maybe I'll try that. Uh, you can add some dried coconut flakes in here. This is amazing stuff. You can find the coconuts. It's not cocaine. I know it looks like cocaine on the screen, but um, these coconut flakes, you can use it in the bakery section. You can use it, you can get it in the, the, the natural food selection part. But there you go. All right, so now we got our coconut going. Okay, so you can basically put anything you want into your green smoothie, cool? All right, so now after you have this thing packed with whatever you want, and you can make less, you know, I'm gonna make a full one, okay? But now you need a liquid. You can use any liquid you want. So I'm, I like soy milk right now. You should not use dairy. Dairy is pus water. People are still surprised by this. Milk is not good for you. Milk is pus water. No one should be drinking milk. And in fact, milk is one of our most common food allergies. If you've got irritable bowel syndrome, gas, etc., you're most likely allergic to the milk you're drinking or the cheese or the dairy that's in your diet. So get rid of that stuff. If you str struggle with constipation or diarrhea, uh, bloating, gas, all that stuff, get rid of your dairy so soy milk, and you know people are so fucking funny it's just hilarious to me like i'll say i'll say don't drink milk and people go i can't have any milk so like i can't have almond milk i'm like that's not a milk you know <laughs> i know it's called almond milk people go i can't have soy milk because i'm allergic to dairy i'm allergic to all milks i'm like what's wrong with you okay anyway so this is soy milk and you're gonna put a little bit in here. How much do you put in, Dr. V? It doesn't matter, all right? If you are just, if you just had surgery, you can make it a little bit thinner. If you, for me, that's pretty good right there. If you want to, if you struggle with hunger, like if this, if you're getting hungry, make this smoothie a little bit thicker, and that way it stays in your pouch longer. But remember, your smoothie is meant to fill, I'm sorry, your smoothie is meant to give you nutrition, not to make you feel full, all right? All right, so I can already tell, probably not, not oh, our secret ingredient. Now listen, you can use, because I get this question a lot, you can use, if you have some old Premier Protein Shake left over, use your Premier Protein Shake, but you don't, like, Premier Protein Shake is crap, by the way. You don't need to be drinking Premier Protein Shakes. I know you had a bypass. I know you don't need it. Trust me. You'll get plenty uh, with this. Oh, why soy milk? Soy milk has a little bit of protein in it. Uh, it's, it's from soy products, obviously. So um, it's really good for you. You can use, uh, I got coconut water right here. So if you, you want to use coconut water, you can. Uh, in case you're trying to be more ketogenic, you can use, you can add anything you want in here right now. So you can, yes, you can use your old protein shakes. Use them up, don't buy them again. Um, this would be a good time to put in, if you wanted to use any protein powders, if you're paranoid about protein powders. But 
I would tell you a lot of those protein powders has a flavoring to them and it'll make them taste funky. So just be beware. You can also add your vitamins in here. If, you're, if you have trouble with your bariatric vitamins, this would be a good time to put the vitamins in here and get them all crushed up, okay? Now, for our secret ingredient today, shh. It's not supposed to be so secret because I put, I put it on the video. This is bee pollen. Um, this is a gift from a patient named Sue First. So shout out to Sue First in Los Angeles who included this for me in a gift bag. Uh, I'm, I'm currently living in Albuquerque and I got some bee pollen from Santa Fe. Anesthesiologist gave it to me. Now why bee pollen? Bee pollen is probably the most powerful powerful thing you can put in your body if you have bad allergies because it's it's about to be springtime here so the trees are all blooming and Alex you can kind of hear it in my nose right so uh, bee pollen is going to be probably the most powerful thing you can do to prevent allergies now you want to do bee pollen year-round but especially in the fall if you start it in the fall um, then by the springtime you'll have um, a, a uh, a nice response so that way you don't get the um, allergies in the spring okay so bee pollen very important bee pollen not honey see this is not honey y'all see the bee oh there we go now we're rocking so it's funny they actually have these little traps in the beehives and then after these these bees have been flying around all day as they're entering the hive they have these little traps and the traps collect the the bee pollen from the bees isn't that sad these you're basically holding up and robbing the bees right when they're entering their house you know it's like someone like holding you up in your garage and stealing your your groceries <laughs> in that terrible thing we do the bees all right so we're just gonna put a few pinches in here there again there's really no measurement there's nothing you really need to do I'm gonna do one two three and you're probably wondering does it make make it sweet? The answer is no, it doesn't. The bee pollen does not add any sort of sweetness to your smoothie. All right. So um, the soy milk is plenty sweet. Uh, you can add a little bit of coconut water if you want some sweetness. You really want to avoid any sort of artificial sweeteners. Don't use stevia. Don't use NutraSweet. You know, none of that stuff is good. So I just added a little bit of coconut water in there because um, I have a feeling this is going to be pretty thick. And uh, so this will be a nice little tropical. This will have a nice tropical taste to it. If you don't like this, man, I, I, think, you're, I think you're crazy. All right, now the hard part is getting this lid on. When you get this lid on, you see, I don't know if you can tell, you see I have the lid on crooked? Don't, don't do that. This is a mistake. If your lid's on crooked, um, you're gonna have smoothie everywhere. So you wanna make sure your smoothie is nice and tight, your lid is on nice and tight. There we go. There we go. So that's nice and good. And now you flip it upside down into this is a Nutri Ninja. There we go. And it starts blending. It's nice and powerful. <clears throat> Works really good. And you can see now it's starting to turn nice and green right there. Is that cool? Or what? <clears throat> And you want to stop and start every now and then. Stop and start. You want to let this settle down. What I want to show you is you're seeing, you see the little green specks in there? That's the spinach, so it's not quite done. You want to make it a little bit smoother. This is turning out to be kind of runny. Now, I will tell you, if you, if you use a, an avocado instead of a banana, you'll find that um, you'll find that the uh, um, smoothie is actually quite creamier and, and thicker. So you might end up using more liquid if you use an avocado. And yes, today is St. Patrick's Day, so this is perfect for St. Patty's Day. Isn't that a nice lime green color? It's really amazing. Okay, so sometimes people will do a smoothie And they'll say, I screwed it up. I made it too thick. Well, if it's too thick, you just add more liquid. Or they'll say, I made it too runny and doesn't keep me full. Remember, it's not supposed to keep you full. So if it's too runny, just add, add more stuff to it, add more fruit. Now, just tasting that right now, golly. Mm. 
That is so good. I'm gonna keep it just like this. So it's, you can see it, it's pretty runny. So it would be great. This would be great if you just had surgery, you're on the mushy phase, you need something real runny. Um, this taste, you can't taste the bee pollen, you cannot taste the spinach. And um, it has a, a finish, uh, you taste the soy milk a little bit, but you taste the coconut, the dried coconut flakes I put in there. Do not, you do not taste the bee pond. It has a nice tropical banana mango thing, uh, flavor to it. Really quite amazing. All right, and that's pretty much it. I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy my smoothie. Um, start your day with a green smoothie, your life will change. Now, if you've had surgery and you're wondering how much to drink, see there's a measurement here. I don't know if you can tell, this is 200 milliliters, that's 400 milliliters, so this is about 400. In American units, that's eight ounces and 16 ounces, okay? I will end up drinking all of this myself. If you've had a weight loss surgery, like a bypass or a sleeve, and you're a year out, you can should be able to drink all of this, even if it takes you all day. I would avoid making this the night before. I know a lot of people do that and they freeze the ingredients, stuff like that. You wanna to try to keep things as fresh as possible to maximize the nutrients. All right, so start your day with a green smoothie, get your husband out the door with a green smoothie, get your kids to school with a green smoothie and your lives will change, I promise. Cool, Dr. see Vaughan you next here. Time. If you like this video, I hope you will come learn from me live in person at my first ever Dr. V Weekend Workshop. I'm calling it Unleash the Sleeve Within. All right. So it's in Albuquerque, March 23rd through the 25th. There's a link to it below the video. I hope to see you there. Cool. Bye.